Hey guys, it's Sakina. And today I wanted to share with you guys a message that God shared with me. I think that this can help someone out there. This was a personal message to me, but I know that it's gonna help someone else out there as well. So I wanna share it with you. Recently, I was under a lot of what I would call spiritual attacks. And I took a nap on a day that I was incredibly exhausted. And during that nap, I had a clear vision. And the God told me that, you know, the, the vision was of an, a door. And it was full of bullet holes. Like the door, I was behind the door. And there was probably over 20 bullet holes through the door. And the message that God told me was that I opened a door that on the other side there was a tree with lots with guns on it and that's why I saw the vision of the door with bullet holes and so to me I took that message to mean that I had opened a door I recently opened a door in my life I'm making a lot of moves in my life right now and behind that door was something someone who had um I guess guns and to me the guns represent just attacks lots of attacks that that had to come that came with me opening that door and it it sorry it um translated to me having a lot of I was a lot of exhaustion this week working through those spiritual attacks energetic attacks but in the midst of all of that I also was shown how God is going to make it right for me and to continue to move forward through that door that I chose and watch how God turns my life around. Um, I saw the messages later that day of turn right, meaning now I need you to turn in the right way. And I also got a message last night of change the person's mind, meaning whoever um, I was attached to who was the cause for these spiritual attacks, I needed to change this person's mind and win them over to my side, which I follow the Lord rather than following this person. So I share this with you guys to say that if you are in the middle of a battle, maybe you think you made the wrong decision. I often get into that rut of feeling like I just made the wrong move. Oh God, oh God, I gotta back up. No, 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 no. Sometimes you just gotta make a move, right? You just gotta make a move. And yes, sometimes it's gonna feel like you made a mistake, but God's gonna right you write it he's gonna write your way so you gotta make a move and I honestly don't think you can ever make a wrong move it just feels like that in the moment because you just feel inside you might have anxiety you might be dealing with um, some past fears and um, blockages related to fear that are keeping you from really moving with full faith and force and that's something that happened to me and so in going through the door that I chose I'm having now to face those fears and work through those fears and energetic blockages to get to the destination and my destiny that I'm trying to get to. So I'm sharing this message to say that if you are in a place where you're thinking you're gonna make the wrong move or you don't wanna make the wrong move, don't be afraid of making the wrong move. Have faith that God is gonna get you right back on the right path and he's gonna show you and teach you the ways of doing that. He'll slow you down. Like right now, God slowed me down and I had, I didn't, rather than backing up and reversing out the door, I am moving forward slowly, wide awake, completely aware, and making sure that I'm dotting my T's and dotting my I's and crossing my T's. And so I'm sharing that with someone. This is what God has been revealing to me over the past week. And I hope that someone out there is going to receive this message and say amen you know thank you for this this is what i needed um there's a verse in the bible that says count it all joy and really you do when you make mistakes when something seems like it's a mistake count it all joy because in that moment you're going to learn something you're going to learn something and god will write you as long as you call on god for help god will write to you i hope that this message was bless blessing someone today and I will see you guys next time. I probably will start sharing more of these with you guys because I get a lot of messages and visions. I write them in my journal, whatever I do. I get so many that I stop writing them all because it's just so much noise in my head. So 
Um, but I'm going to start sharing some of the ones that I think really could resonate with other people that are not so specific to me, but I think that could resonate with other people as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.